All right, guys. I just did Crown and Kingdom Come. Honestly, I was a little disappointed with Kingdom Come. Um, I think I missed some doubles in Crown just because I don't know uh, Knox Hale's discography. I, I was not... Like, I gave it a C. Um, Kingdom Come, I gave a C. And, and King Dada had some bars in there. Now, uh, once again... Okay, okay. So he's got the title. He's got the, the name in the title. Once again, guys, I'm not a huge fan of it. To me, it's it's, it's a clickbait thin thing, but, you know, whatever. Point being, I gave Kingdom Come a, a C. I, it re I was underwhelmed. I was not really that impressed. Um, once again, he had some lines in there. Um, but even the one about Ren is from Wales, when I flood him, I hope Ren has gills. Whales don't have gills, I don't think. They, I think they just have skin. So, like, it's, I don't know. It, it was a nice line. I liked it. But at the same time, it was like, man, I'm all about hip-hop competition. I'm a huge fan of Iron Sharpens Iron. Call people out. If you if you think they're they're not performing the best, call them out. Be like, hey, I thought that was a weak track, and then they'll step it up. Hopefully, like when you stop having competition, things stop improving, and then you have garbage artists like Future who make shit music, and then they sell way more than anyone with real talent, artistry, and hard work put into their music. Anyway. I'm curious what Ren's gonna do with this. It's it's look, he's got flowers. I'm I presume for King Dada maybe. Let's see what Ren does, man. <laughs> oh, hang on, man. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We gathered here today at the <laughs> Dude, how did I was I he hasn't even started, man. He hasn't even started. Just the just the the initial response. Oh my god. Grave of Dot. <laughs> I bought you some Viagra. You went too soft. <laughs> Dude, I, I worked out two days ago and my abs really hurt. So that's why I have a pained expression when I laugh, man. But <laughs> oh my God, man. Oh my God. Come on. I got to. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll get through this reaction for you guys. I'm sorry, man. Hang on. We gathered here today at the grave of Dotter. Here, I bought you some Viagra. You <laughs> went too soft on me, brother. I must reject tradition and speak ill of the dead. After Knox decapitated you, I'll bury the head. Uh. Wait, wait, wait. I haven't even done the Knox this. I'll, I'll do the Knox response after this, man. King, don't come. You dumb king. Calm down. What's a king without a crown, just a peasant or a clown? Jealous, little bitch. And for anyone in doubt, he's a jealous little bitch, lashing out to get the clout. King Dot are not a king, I know a crown when it rusts. I eat you up, then shit you out. I call that a royal flush. Going <laughs> oh, man. Crown when it rusts. I eat you up, then shit you out. I call that a royal flush. Going by the laws of physics, when you die, you'll combust because you've got your own center of gravity, fat fuck. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, man. This is a diss. Dude, the, the, the kingdom come? I listened to it the whole time and I was, wa I was like waiting to get excited and like waiting for the really good diss lines. I mean, the, the most cutthroat, best diss line uh, King Dada had was like, I'll give you flashbacks of being in the hospital, which is like, wait, 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 wait. What did Ren, what did Ren do in the first place to like elicit this diss, first of all? Second of all, 
that was it. Like after that, it was just like wordplay about some of his songs and like the Ren, you know, I hope Ren has gills because it's Ren Gill is his name that like he had some nice lines, but like you really didn't say shit, man. The whole time. Anyway, let's keep going. What then shit you out? I call that a royal, royal flush. flush. Going by the laws of physics, when you die, you'll combust because you've got your own center of gravity, fat fuck. <laughs> He's comparing him to, to like a star, a planet. I've seen you play the race card a couple of times. Hang on. Nobody give, give a fuck what you're talking about or the dumbass complexity you champion. Pac isn't always will be God tier compared to Ren, who isn't even kind of good. IDK, if y'all listening, but y'all gotta be just really into having white savior and black culture. Millions of people who look a certain way. Y'all keep forgetting the hip hop. It, uh, and rap is black music regardless of who loves it or does it so the truth is someone listen to the core of hip-hop doesn't acknowledge him and it's because he's garbage fuck off bro fuck off bro i rap about my life and la -di -da -di -da. there's a reason a rapper like lil uzi can drop a number one album and ren couldn't what what you know, Lil Uzi sucks, right? What is the... I don't even know what this man is talking about, man. Also, Pac is not a god-tier lyricist. Pac is a legend. Tupac is a fucking legend. A legend in hip-hop, a legend in black culture, man. He's not a god-tier lyricist, though. Ren, who isn't even kind of good. This dude, this he has to be trolling because, like, this dude is talking out of his ass. All right, anyway, guys, this man really said Lil Uzi, Lil Uzi Vert, dude. Fuck you. What the fuck are you talking about, man? Hang on. Let's let's go. Let's go. I've seen you play the race card a couple of times, saying people only fuck with me because I am white, and then you go and backtrack and you say I'm alright. You feeling mixed in your emotions. Wait, 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 wait. What was that? Hang on. Hey, no lie, my guy. Aside from what I said, as an artist and an MC, I respect you a lot, my guy. Let's have fun. Oh, this is just clout chasing bullshit, dude. I asked you the question. I was like, what did, what did Ren do to King Dada? What did Ren do to King Dada to elicit this, this diss? And then one day ago, inter yeah, I don't know, man. What? If you if you respect him as an artist and as an MC and you respect him a lot as an MC, what in the fuck are you doing? Fuck off. What is going on, man? Why did Ren even respond like what why? Why even bother with this clown, man? Let's go. Right. You feeling mixed in your emotions like a horny ex-wife. The reason people don't fuck with you it's because you were shy. Oh, you a big dog? Well, I'm a sick puppy. I slap your daft, you little punk. That's how you get lucky. Because if you lose, you're still winning. It's clear. More views on your disc than your whole career. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I have as many subscribers as King Dada, man. And I started doing reactions like three months ago. Come on, man. Come on. More more views on your disc than your whole fucking career, man. I don't know, man. It if you lose, you're still winning, it's clear. More views on your disc than your whole career. So come... <laughs> Dude, I... This is a diss. It's coming with, like, an actual thing that you're saying. I mean, King Dada said, like, how are you going to be... In the Knox Hill diss, he said, like, how are you going to be, like, emo and hard at the same time or something... But that was at Knox Hill, so not not the same as Ren. But it's like, dude, you got to come with some real shit in a diss. Like, King Dada was just doing wordplay about, like, Ren's song titles, basically. The whole fucking diss. And those were the highlights of it. The rest of it was just, like, filler, like, like filler multisyllabic partial horrorcore rhymes. It's like, fuck, man, this is not, what are you doing? I'm actually sorry about this one, daughter. Hang on, man. Get lucky, because if you lose, you're still winning, it's clear. More views on your disc than your whole career. So come... 
I'm actually sorry about this one, Dotto. <laughs> I'm sorry. So come on, fatty, keep up. You're losing the race. Your YouTube views lower than your calorie intake. Stop watching what I'm doing and start watching your weight. I'll kick down your front door screaming, put down the cake. Oh, man. I love that he's, Rand is even like, I'm sorry for this one, Dotto, man. But hey, if you're going to diss somebody, man, you're making it fair play. If you're going to talk about, I'll give you flashbacks of your, you know, your hospital days or whatever, whatever the fuck he said, man. If you're going to do that, man, you're opening the door for it. So you, you got to be, you got to be cool with people going savage mode. Stop watching your weight. I'll kick down your front door screaming, put down the cake. Little steak on my plate. You're starting beef, but it's butchered because you're butchering the culture. You ain't brewing kombucha. Ooh. How could you have kids, man? You're hardly a... Ooh, you're butchering the culture. H hang on. Be hang on. He's what did he say? Beef and then steak on the plate? Hang on, hang on. Put We're catching it, man. Little steak. And then he said, you know, you're, you're, you're butchering the culture. You're not brewing kombucha. You use the cultures to brew the kombucha. The cultures eat the sugar, and then that gives it that, that effervescence in the... the I believe the carbonation, man. On my plate, you're starting beef, but it's butchered because you're butchering the culture. You ain't brewing kombucha. How could you have kids, man? You're hardly a looker. I wonder how much it costs to buy a surrogate hooker. <laughs> I'm sorry, God. <laughs> man, I love how humble he is at doing this, man. I wonder how much it costs to buy a surrogate hooker. <laughs> I'm sorry, God. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm only joking, it's only hip-hop Time to take my dick out of your mouth and pull my zip up I'm sure Michelle Show will be obliged to clean the shit up Then bend over backwards while you're looping from the tip up <laughs> Michelle, the film Hang on, man Dude, he's not even doing this over a beat and it's a better diss How does that happen, King Dada? Shit up, then bend over backwards while you're looping from the tip up Michelle, the filter's weird and your channel is dead it's like I'm watching Pokemon, but ugly with dreads. This ain't a battle, it's a fucking <laughs> massacre. You're on my planet Earth. I am David Attenborough. Blood socket Dracula with parasite vernacular collateral. I run up like I'm Battlestar Galactica. Uh. I didn't even make a beat for this shit. You're not worth the fucking time, Dot, or you're last on the list. I wrote this in 10 minutes with a flick of the wrist. I speak about five sin. Come on, man. Last on the list. I wrote this in 10 minutes with a flick of the wrist. I speak about five syllables, you cease to exist, so real. Maybe think twice, my friend, about stepping to the mark in the world of Ren. Cause you were just a rodent and it's mice and men. Crushing mm. skulls like I'm Lenny, tail of Jenny again. Instead of Jenny, it's a daughter on Crushing the skulls like I'm Lenny from Of Mice and Men. Um, Jenny again, and then he's uh, talking about uh, Taylor Jenny and Screech Man. Hang on. Crushing skulls like I'm Lenny, tail of Jenny again. Instead of Jenny, it's a daughter on the tip of the blade. Tie your screech while I drive by. Tie your screech while I drive by. Oh my god, dude. He's saying, I'm gonna do you like Screech did Jenny, man. Fuck, man. He's, he's, he's promoting his own music. In the diss, while, while using double entendres and lyricism. What a genius, man. Let's go. Again, instead of Jenny, it's a daughter on the tip of the blade. Tie your screech while I drive by and violet the range. You're just part of a machine against you, I will rage. And I'm killing in the name of a king that I slayed. Bully, I've seen you dissing Dwayne and then crit. Miss a kill shot of Knox because you're bitter as shit. Then you made the big <laughs> mistake. You put me on the list. I'm a fucking psychopath, thought I don't take the piss. A relevant rapper, wasting my time. People only heard of you because of this rhyme. Oh, you're a murderer. That's so cool, my guy. Got your time in the spotlight, so enjoy the shine. Wait. Wait. <laughs> I genuinely mean it when I say you should shine. I just played you at your game, so welcome to mine. Ooh. I want all of my fans to show Dot at the time, because he's actually sick at rapping. Go and like and subscribe. There's a new kind of culture in this world. Hey, man. I, I mean, I said the guy had bars. I, I still stand by. It was a C, C diss. It wasn't C plus, not C minus, wasn't a B, wasn't an F. It was a C, man. He had some bars in there. I don't know any of other uh, King Dada's other discography, man. I really don't. 
It was an okay disc. I was underwhelmed. I stand by it. E even, you know, let's keep going. Your game, so welcome to mine. I stand I by it. I want all of my fans to show Dot at a time. Because he's actually sick at rapping. Go and like and subscribe. Mm. There's a new kind of culture in this world of division where we bicker over politics and race and religion. There is war, there is peace. That's a human decision. Either you could be. Who's gotten sociological, cultural, uplifting, and therapeutic in a diss like this, man? I've never come across it. I love it. I love it. So Ren obviously checked out King Dada's discography and he's like, he's actually sick at rapping. And he said to my fans, go and give King Dada the time because he's good at this. Wow, man. What a big person, man. Rip him to shreds and then build him up. Let's go, man. Ticks and race and religion. There is war. There is peace. That's a human decision. Either you could be my brother or another collision. And the media, they love it when we hate each other. Because the money lines their pockets if you're not my brother. And this black versus white, that's divide and conquer. Ignorance, it is formed in the womb of... Man... Black versus white, divide and conquer, man. Divide and you won't have to conquer. Because what happens if black and white unify? They become a problem. They start make, We start making demands. Black and white says, wait, wait, wait. This is an orchestrated division. Yeah, there's real division. But there's also a lot of orchestrated division. Let's come together. If we're divided... You don't, you don't need divide to divide uh, to, to you don't need to conquer someone who's divided. You don't need to conquer a population that is already divided. They will keep each other locked in place. And this black versus white, that's divide and conquer. Ignorance it is formed in the womb of monsters. If there's war in the east, industries are getting paid. If there's war in the streets, there's a mother at a grave. If I pander to my ego, then I'm just another slave. A casualty of vanity, hate just breeds hate, so daughter. If I pander to my ego, I'm just another slave. Come on, man. Wow. Wow. No one's ever done this in a diss, man. Thank you, Ren, for this, man. Bring it back to reality, man. He did his thing. He's like, hey, you're going to talk some shit. Guess what, motherfucker? I can do it too. And then he hits a point. He's like, but hang on. Let, let's talk about the bigger picture here. There's division. There's 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 anger. There's hatred. Come on, man. Upli up, he's trying to uplift people now. Man, in typical Ren fashion. That's funny. He said, you brought me into your world. I'm going to bring you to mine now. I, I went to your world. Now, come on. Step on over here, man. If there's war in the east, industries are getting paid. If there's war in the streets, there's a mother at a grave. If I pander to my ego, then I'm just another slave. A casualty of vanity. Hate just breeds hate. So, daughter, I think I've got to leave it at that. Because I'm not a battle rapper. But I do like to rap. Now a million new eyes will be on where you're at. I hope you roll with it, my friend. Put yourself on the map. Daughter. Daughter is sick. Hang on, man. Hang on. And he brought it back to the funeral horns. This was five months ago. King Dada is still not really doing much. I, I mean, I, I looked at his channel for a second. Like, man, you got if how can you not capitalize on this? Maybe it's because you're, you're not like really that great at rapping. I mean, King Dada had some bars, man, but he, he really wasn't phenomenal. I, I have to keep it a buck, man. I'm not trying to propagate hate. It is my opinion, however, that King Dada is not a, that great of a rapper. At one point in the Knox Hill disc, he talked about, I'm from the cloth of like, I learned from like Royce and Kid Vicious. If you guys don't know, Royce to 5'9", one of the top lyricists in the world to ever get on a microphone. He's gone through a lot of struggles. He, he had a long phase of alcoholism. He kicked the booze man. And from there on out, mind-blowing lyricism. A, a much better lyricist th than Ren. And I'm only saying that so you'll check him out. But King Dada brought up, you know, I learned from Royce. It's like, well, you obviously didn't learn that much from Royce. Because if you did, you, you'd be doing things a little bit different. But hey, man. You know, that's not to take away from Ren as a lyricist or a writer, but um, Royce to 5'9 is just that good where he, he he's on. There's a few MCs that are on just a different level of lyricism. 
Uh, Royce the five nine is one of them. Crooked Eye is another one. Um, I would I would say Eminem is another one. Um, there's a lot of them out there, but they're they I put them in a completely different category than all rappers. There's rappers, and then there's these MCs who are masters of their crafts, master wordsmiths, incredible incredibly. I check them out. Look, look. I mean, check out Crooked Eye, Shady 2.0 Cipher. Check out Royce to Five Nine, um, L.A. Leakers Freestyle. I mean, these are mind blowing things, people. All the Ren fan. I want you to check them out. They're like those two things I just mentioned. The Crooked Eye, Shady 2.0. Like the whole Shady 2.0 Cipher is really good. But man, I'm gonna wrap this one up. I still got to do the Knox Hill one, man. I did it in the wrong order, but I'm interested to see what Knox said, man. I've never heard a song by Knox. I know he has the reaction channel and he does the music as well. I'm curious, man. So I'm going to wrap this up and get right into it.